Hello, in this presentation I'm going to demonstrate to you how to download and install the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2010, which essentially is an enhancement to the Windows 7 Automated Installation Kit, which is prerequisite. You must install the Windows 7 Automated Installation Kit before you install the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. I'm going to do this in a virtual lab environment and I already have the files downloaded on a 2008 server. The files are located on the computer in a folder called downloads and in the downloads folder I've got the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2010 both in the x64 version and the x86 version. One is 32-bit, that's x86, the other is 64-bit. So if you do need to download the installation files, they're easy enough to find. Just open up your web browser, go to Google, and Google search Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. Download. And click on Download Details for the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit and from this screen you can download either the 64-bit or the 32-bit deployment toolkits just make sure you remember where you put them so you can find them when it comes time to do the installation so I'm gonna to go to my Windows 7 virtual machine which is where I'd like to install the Microsoft deployment toolkit and I'm gonna go ahead and browse to my server so I'm gonna type slash slash rwdc01 slash downloads and I'll hit the enter key and now I'm just going to go ahead and double click on the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2010 x64. We go into a preparing to install mode which may take a little time because I'm installing from a network location. Once the wizard appears welcome to the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2010 update go ahead and click on next accept the terms of the license agreement and click on next and I am going to install the Microsoft deployment toolkit which includes documents tools and templates so I'll click next if I wanted to change the location I could do so here I'm fine with program files Microsoft deployment toolkit I'll click next and then I'll click on install and the installation continues when the wizard completes, you get a box up that says completed the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2010 update. Click on finish and your installation of the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit is complete. I will click on the start button and there it is the deployment workbench and I can launch it and validate that it is successfully installed. So here is my deployment workbench. Uh, indicating that it has been a successful installation and this concludes my presentation on how to download and install the Microsoft Deployment Workbench. This has been a video brought to you by BrickHouseLabs.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy future videos.